Hey guys, Molafont here. You can call me Paul. I'm sitting on my front porch, uh, getting ready to smoke. Whoa, that had the potential to be really bad. I have uh, big gaps in my porch, and I just lost my. Hey guys, it's the Molafont. And I am, uh, I can't believe I dropped my lighter uh, down the porch. I'm not going under there tonight. Uh, I'll go off under there in the morning. I dropped my pipe lighter, so I'm going to be using my, my Bic. <sighs> Smoking my Calabrese. And in it, uh, some Captain's Black. Like you care. You really could care less what I'm smoking. You can't smell it. You Half of you probably already lost interest in this video. But I will tell you what is interesting. Yeah, baby. That is 100% pure Pat's Blue Ribbon. Ooh. I like that. It's my grandfather's beer. Captain Black was my grandfather's tobacco. Back then, that's when uh, people were loyal to products. Uh, they only smoked uh, Captain's Black when he smoked pipe. He only drank Pabst Blue Ribbon, and he only loved one woman in his entire life. That's loyalty to a product right there. I'm thinking a lot about that. Uh, just doing away with all the pipes, all the tobaccos, just 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 sticking to one. What tobacco? I don't know. I uh, I really really like Penzance, but it is pricey and hard to find at times. Um, the other tobacco I really dig is uh, Boston's Cut Plug. Uh, good friend Bo Casey sent me some of that Mr. Diesel smoking I don't know if he's even making videos anymore uh, but Mr. Mr. Diesel smoking if you're out there man uh, thanks for friending me on Facebook uh, we got to talk I got a call I, I miss, missed his call and I'm bad about returning calls so yeah this video is about uh, nothing pretty much nothing Well, part of me thinks if I had to just smoke Captain's Black for the rest of my life, I could do it. It's not bad. I, uh... When I first got into pipe smoking, like, 14-some years ago, that's all I, I smoked. Uh, I smoked Borkham, Borkham Riff. Uh, a couple pouches of that. Ooh, not so much. But the Captain's Black, I always liked uh, the, uh, the white pouch and the gold pouch. I was one of those lucky guys that uh, was able to clean some product off the uh, CVS pharmacy shelves. I got like four bags, uh, two ounce bags of the Captain's Black and then a, uh, a uh, 12 ounce bucket, if you will. Beer is good. You know, most beers uh, can be improved by just serving it out of a uh, ice, uh, icy cold mug. That that is like uh, it, it just. Oh, I, I don't even have words. No words. Just. Good.
So, I was talking to a very good friend of mine about uh, my YouTube channel. And, uh, most of you know here a few years ago I had quite a few uh, videos up and they were uh, taken down. I wish it not been that way, but they are. There's nothing I can do about it. I didn't save any of them. But I joined the pipe community, and uh, I gotta be completely honest with you. The conversation that my friend and I were having was, what is there still to be said in the YouTube pipe community? There's nothing. So, I think my videos will be less about pipes, of course. I mean, I'm going to smoke a pipe, that's just who I am. And, uh, you know, I'll share what I'm smoking, but I don't do pipe uh, maintenance, I don't do pipe cleaning, I don't do um, any of that. My channel is just about. Uh, shit that's going on in my life and I think I'm gonna do more of that uh, some of you are gonna be bored out of your damn minds but uh, I think it's therapeutic for me and uh, who knows it might be fun so I'm gonna sit here and talk to you like you're uh, sitting here on my porch enjoying a pipe with me or a cigar, I don't care what you have, I'll pour you a beer. Uh, but, but let me extend this invitation. Um, you've heard me say, or you may not have, but in my previous videos I've always made mention that if you ever are driving through Lordsburg, New Mexico for whatever reason, uh, stop by and set a spell. That is an open invitation. Um, I don't care who you are. Um, I don't care if your, your videos are uh, not even about pipes. Uh, I I want to uh, meet interesting people. And uh, if you were to stop by, we'll make a video. We'll put it on YouTube. We'll have a pipe, a drink, eh? we'll talk, we'll have coffee. That's, that's kind of what I want to do. I just want to chill out. Having said that, you'll probably never ever see anybody but me on my videos. But. Um, Anyhow, not a lot going on here in Lordsburg. Uh, the Mavericks played uh, the night before last. Uh, I believe they won. Uh, the last I heard, the score was like 47-4 or yeah, 47-7. So if they didn't win, they're a bunch of dumbasses. How do you lose that kind of lead? But I'm sure they did. Um, too many people wearing Lordsburg shirts uh, today, so I'm assuming people are pretty happy with Lordsburg right now. The thing I did here is they do not have a band this year. Lordsburg always uh, been pretty prideful of their band, and they do not have a band this year. Uh, citing the reason was there was n uh, a lack of interest. And find that hard to believe. I think any teacher worth his salt uh, can convince a uh, high school student to pick up and try to learn an instrument. Um, and it's sad that they're doing uh, away with that. Personally, I think somebody needed a raise. They felt they went the whole year without a raise and uh, probably uh, the cost of uh, instruments, maintaining instruments, and uh, bussing the band to and from football games was uh, too much for the budget. But what do I know? So future video ideas um, 
one of uh, the things that I do to make money is uh, I deliver fish live fish and what I mean by that is there in Cotton City New Mexico there is a uh, tilapia farm it is the only disease free tilapia farm left in the US um, the man who runs it is an absolute genius when it comes to those fish I mean he's he's on the ball uh, what I do is I go down uh, 1130 on a Tuesday evening usually and uh, I pick up a truck and a trailer uh, just a regular pickup truck and I, I think it's about a 22 foot enclosed trailer I pick it up and I haul but uh, you know legal speed limit of course uh, to Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix Arizona from there these fish get shipped uh, throughout the world uh, Vancouver British Columbia Saskatchewan Florida Mexico uh, England you know all over around in the states what I ship in that trailer is anywhere from 40 to 240 boxes of live fingerlings when I say fingerlings these fish are about the the size of the spoon on a check tool and they're live they're shipped they're bagged with air uh, two bags per box uh, this is about 28 pounds per box and I take them unload them at the airport and then they get shipped off throughout the world and then I get back on the freeway and so back home I think one of my future videos I'm going to uh, just kind of document uh, what happens in one of these trips. I'm going to show you the fish and I'll uh, talk to uh, Mr. Seawright and see if maybe it's a possibility we can kind of do a little video tour of the uh, tilapia farm. I think that'd be kind of fun. I know, uh, you know he's real protective of what goes on there um, but I think I think he'd probably be okay with that. Did I mention how good this is? If... Oh. <laughs> And it's still cold. Thank you. That would taste better with pizza. We don't have good pizza out here. Hey, shout out to my buddy WolfCon. They're in Phoenix, Arizona. Badass. Son of a bitch biker. Actually, it's funny I brought up that name. Uh, biker buddy of mine in, in uh, Phoenix that I've uh, known for. Holy shit, it's been. Uh, Lucas Franco and I hope to get together with him uh, as soon as my bike is up and running and we're gonna head north of Phoenix to a uh, place called Rock Springs Arizona and they have at least they used to I, if they don't have it anymore I'm gonna be so bummed out uh, coolest uh, little event you know um, it's called Hogs and Heat we just take our bikes up there and they had uh, all you could eat Rocky Mountain oysters and dollar beer. And uh, for those of you who say you would never ever put a Rocky Mountain oyster in your mouth, that's why they had dollar beers. You have enough dollar beers, you put anything in your mouth. Miss being on my bike. My bike's been down. Uh, finance is being tight. I, I need to put a new tire on the back. I literally, literally uh, rode that back tire till it finally just popped. I was riding it when it happened, man. It scared the shit out of me. But it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a Kenda tire, actually. And uh, a lot of people poo poo those Kenda tires because they're a little harder. Uh, than your your Dunlop or you know anything like that, but I got 20 
thousand miles out of that that Kenda. So I was I got my money's worth and some out of the tire. Now I just need to uh, buy a new tire. I actually I'm gonna get a set. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the front one. The front one doesn't need to be replaced, but I need to replace the tube. Um, this can sound a little silly, but when I replaced the front tire last time, um, I was putting the valve stem back in and I cross-threaded it and busted it off. And uh, it was holding air, so I just left it. But I really want to replace that tube. I'd feel better. Um, with as many miles as I do go on that bike, I'd feel a lot better if I went ahead and replaced it. Totally sanded my bike down, let it sit through the, the monsoons letting it rust get that nice patina on it rust is not a crime my friends so maybe I'll do a video about that man I'll show you everybody my bike um, strap this camera on and we'll go for a ride or something like that that'd be kind of fun one of the cool things you know still pipe smoking related is a uh, you know I like throwing my uh, my uh, pipe bag and my saddle bags and you know uh, just go riding um, that's a very zen thing to do and I like going up and uh, up into the trees you know and uh, back not back roads I don't take it really on dirt roads but you know like the back highways up through uh, the high country we have some beautiful beautiful areas here in, in uh, New Mexico Rio Doso area in fact we have a bike run in Rio Doso next month uh, but just stopping somewhere where it's nice, cool, under the pines, you can smell that pines, and then just lighten up a pipe. Um, one of my favorite on-the-road tobaccos is, is McBaron's Plum Cake. Um, I don't know why, but I like having that tobacco with me, you know, when I'm traveling. You guys have that, a traveling tobacco? One that when you're out and about you take with you or is it just whatever you grab? I used to be in the habit of like in my my pipe bag whenever I'd go on like long trips or whatever even on that fish run man I'd take a, my pipe bag and it holds like five pipes and I got to be like why? I mean, what's the point? I'm, I'm not going to smoke all those pipes. So I've got like one pipe. Uh, pretty much it's my all the time. But well, this is one of them, man. I smoke this pipe. Um, and I've got another one that looks very much similar, but it, it's a little nose warmer. It's, it's a pretty cool little pipe. It's a, uh, a, uh, what the hell is that uh, name of that pipe? Um, Roarmond Micro. A pretty badass little pipe. Uh, it was a gift, uh, this and it was a gift from uh, to me from a uh, good friend of mine, Roy, um, who I met through a motorcycle club, actually. Smart cat, man. That guy's a smart cat. Um, I have not met him face-to-face. -face. I met him online uh, through the motorcycle uh, club, uh, the community. Uh, there we were uh, start prospect prospecting about the same time. And... Uh, I tell you, kudos to that guy, man. He, he was diabetic. He, he was an alcoholic for a while, but he overcame quite a bit. And uh, that dude's in shape now um, and really doing phenomenal. So kudos, Roy, if you ever see this video. There's a cat that uh, I'd like to sit down and have a pipe with. Maybe uh, me and the old lady will take a motorcycle ride. Uh, Texas his way and, and meet him. There's a lot of people I'd like to uh, to meet, you know, just pack up the bike, uh, my pipe, tobacco, and just go meet some people. Uh, I had always planned on going to meet an old pipe pops before he passed, and God, I, I, I'm still to this day kicking myself that I just didn't make the trip, man. Something always came up. I was always busy, but, um, but there's a cat I would have liked to have had a pipe with. Good guy, good guy. Mm. Shout out to my daughter. 10 year old Caitlin is making videos now. Um, she's real nervous on camera. Um, so she's, you know, she's still coming into her own, but she's doing pretty good. You know, she's uh, 
She's real excited about doing that, and she's just talking about whatever. Uh, so if you have a chance to go take a look at her, uh, it is Wandering Shadows, one word. And I think she only made like three or four videos already, but she's pretty excited. So I'd, I'd like to, to get some encouragement going for her. Um, she seems excited about that. She seems like she's really interested about doing, uh, making videos. And, you know, she she's likes... Uh, channels like the Shea Tards and stuff like that so if you guys have a chance to just swing by give her a couple thumbs up and some encouragement that would be sweet um, well I guess that's about it and I've been rambling quite a while you guys ever find yourself for whatever reason traveling through a little town called Lordsburg New Mexico Stop on in. Set a spell.